Okay, let's move on towards game two then, shall we? Uh, WIN Survivors decided to ban Opera Singer here, so we're gonna be able to see 72S's Dream coming out here once again. Sorry for my mic. But of course, with a Team Convoys, it's relatively almost the same as last game, uh, actually, except for the fact that we're gonna sub out Core, not Core, Psychologist for the Acrobat here. Acrobat being a quite a very nice area, but once again, it seems like we did manage to get the bait here on trying to look for the coordinator. But once again, I guess at the end of the day, this is still a Dream Witch, so putting this since early game is going to be very important here even if your cypher machine isn't enough as we have seen in game one as well overall for this team comp i guess really cordy being first chase wouldn't be too bad because even if you get do get the well cordy getting a patroller on her she can't really use the bite anyway so there's nothing we can do there at the end of the day but of course with a dream much on this side as well last game it was a tight this game hopefully it will be a win coming from sea's um hunter side but of course we're gonna be able to see WIM versus AVG. This is gonna be round two. First half, we're gonna be seeing. Okay, we're gonna be seeing Trump card detention with Max Hunt once again with one sack of Berserker. Overall, this is brilliant. Overall, this is brilliant. We are gonna be able to get our initial uh, leech on towards the lawyer. But with, even with lawyer here, lawyer pulling a huge distance is gonna be very important because this is a very easy area for you to sandwich a lawyer at the end of the day. Survivor's trying to pull distance here is brilliant. Survivor knowing which cipher machine to go to is also brilliant. We're currently near a cypher machine dash has been locked by the dream which oh well there's nothing we can do in that situation i guess but for lawyer side as well he knows he can vault over that himself um oh but even with that in mind i feel like for anjo's side giving a normal leech hit here wouldn't be the best idea now we are still being able to pull away here lawyer i feel like lawyer should have just taken the leech hit instead of the dream which is main follower hit but even with that in mind here as well time two as running towards the other side of upstairs right now trying to grab the follower as fast back as he can here as well but even with that in mind here we are going to be able to play a little bit of mind games around here and there but even with that on mind this is gonna be a brilliant well well you know what well you know what uh 72 is getting a little bit greedy there but you know a hit is a hit at the end of the day we could definitely fall down here but anjo realizes this as well deciding to that well downing towards the corner here brilliant flywheel brilliant flywheel that was brilliant that was brilliant now run towards the corner now run towards that corner ah uh, you're not looping again ah uh, this is horrific ggs um I mean, that's great. I guess we're going to be able to get the leech on towards the lawyer here once again. That's currently three cypher machines to 100 seconds into the game. As we do see here as well, the the big difference, the really big difference between last game and this game, Survivors, is last game two minutes in, we only have two two cypher machines. This game, we've, we've three. This game, we've two, three cypher machines. So, um, two minutes into the game, three cypher machines currently done. Dream, which is mid to end game, is basically nothing right now, unless he, she decides to go for the very 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 rough rescue here but even with that on mind tie here definitely is possible uh for the for who again for 72s for a dream witcher especially with the fact that no power time on towards our lawyer here so that's a good relatively good news but that's quite an early patroller bite here uh because patroller will bite one more time and uh mercenary still does have a, like 10 percent to play around in this area and he could just tank a terror shock it really that's what i will say Ooh, we're playing really hard right there, but that's a no damage rescue by the mercenary, which is brilliant. Yeah, the no damage rescue there by the mercenary is brilliant, because we do see here as well, Force Cypher Machine is going to be able to pop soon. And we, and like, the Cordy, uh, you know what, to be fair, Cordy and Acrobat are relatively close towards each other. We can definitely save Acrobat's Titaner for later as well. But for Acrobat right now, his main goal is to finish that Cypher Machine and run straight towards Cordy's Cypher Machine so we can double decode in that situation. But even with that in mind as well, we do see the lawyer trying to pull away as far as we can. We're going to go straight towards the back gate here near, um, near T the tea house i don't know what that place is i was just reading the sign but anyways even with that i might we're gonna be see well i mean cypher machine is practically primed even with cordy's like decoding debuff that is really fast decoding that's actually really fast accelerate decoding just started by the way um that is really fast decoding so uh we're gonna be able to come in with a double rescue here we want to double body block here for a three man end game that's definitely what we want to do so we're going to be playing the mind games here that's a lot of mind games we're able to get the rescue here but we got the hit on towards acrobat there thankfully mercenary needing the body block here as much as he can but mercy as well mercy body blocking is a little bit of an issue two reasons well we can just pop here you know what we can just pop here but up pop 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 oh beautiful flywheel can we pop Oh, we're not popping. Okay, guys. 
Oh, okay, now we popped. Now we pop. Oh, wait, no, wait a second. Why do we change back to normal form out of pure curiosity there? I don't know why we change back to normal form out of pure curiosity, but uh, we do see that Acrobat's already the one opening the exit gate. Acrobat opening the gate quite slow here, 42% on the exit gate, but it seems like Acrobat decides to leave. No Acrobat's on the back gate. They're not currently on Umbrella Gate, they're currently at back gate. Lawyer as well definitely know where the dungeon is because the map definitely shows where the dungeon is. And all times on there is also that as well. That's going to be a very good and speed boost. With the blink has been forced out here immediately, but let's congratulate the blue eye and survivor with a three man escape. A little bit unfortunate, but this time the cipher machine was pretty fast compared to last game. Okay, moving on to area selection mode, we go. We're gonna be seeing Happy Lousy here spawning by hotel. Uh, Mercy in middle, Toy Merchant, Toy Merchant here isn't a bad pick. We do have Entomologist as well alongside which, um, Patience. Uh, okay, my heart is burning, I don't know why, but anyways. Aside from that, it's gonna be, this is basically gonna be season, it's, it's a season one Violet I mean. This is like a season one Violet I mean. Happy has been playing Violetta ever since she came out, so this is gonna be a massacre, especially in current day meta as well, where Violetta is 100% viable. This is gonna be a huge massacre. I'm looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to this. For someone who's been playing in Koa with Voileta, for someone who's been casting and still playing Voileta, for someone who's been playing IDV ever since release, this this Vio is going to be very scary, by the way. But of course, from survivor side, we do see that Ento, pocket pick Ento here coming from Elio. He does pick a, pick that one out quite a lot when I go against him in rank bush. Uh, we're going to be able to see the Toy Merchant, Patient, and the Mercy here anyways. But of course, we're going to be going straight towards the Patient here. Patient a little bit unfortunate. The first chase being given towards patient it is going to be a max destructiveness claustrophobia announcement berserker alongside with his tension here but even with that on mind all survivors here are currently decoding as much as they could we do see that moby patient here jumping down here immediately the koala skin is going to come in pretty handy here but even with that on mind um that's going to be quite a very fast first hit here and a very viable um how do I say this? Well, we do see the Ento coming in to harass, which is nice. That's going to be a first hit on Entomologist. Um, the, the quality's a bit bad. My bad on that. I can't really increase that anymore. Mm, but even with that on mind here, we're going to be able to see Moby rotating around really far right. I actually can't see due to the pixels, sorry. I don't know what's wrong with the pixels. But anyways, with that in mind, it's going to be a hook away. But this hook wasn't the best hook, sadly, because there's still 60 web threads here on towards our Soul Weaver. And even with Soul Weaver here not having any blink, there's another web thread there ready to go. But sadly, it's going to be an immediate hit down here on towards the patient. Flywheel has not been used, but Flywheel cannot be used. Which is one of just just one of the things really. Now we do see three 50% cipher machines on average, so it's a 50% cipher machine on average here. We do have mercenary being nearby as well to give to Nidus range, but even with that on mind, it seems like Happy is a little bit more concerned about um, chair camping instead of getting rid of. I would have just gotten rid of gotten rid of in the window in that situation, but it seems like we're gonna force the mercy to come into rescue right here. Didn't get a hit just yet, but there comes the hit. We could potentially follow it up with a spit right now, but it seems like we won't be doing that anytime soon. That's gonna be an immediate hit on towards the uh, patients. Double spit here is probably gonna be quite important for us to maximize here, but it seems like for our hunter, we won't be looking for the double spit here anytime soon yeah we won't be looking for the double spear a little bit unfortunate i guess but we're gonna cocoon out here immediately um that's fine i guess that's fine i guess um cocoon here is kind of just guaranteeing the tie here so happy loss is playing very very respectably i'd say because i, I would have never expect that cocoon but that's very respectable and very safe play there coming out from happy side because even if the survivors do decide to rescue right here there's nowhere where the lawyer can go so at the end of the day rescuing from cocoon is a little bit hard now we do see that uh mercenary is currently nearby that's going to be the first elbow pad out and away that's going to be one double web treads here we don't have enough for a spit here just yet but there is another elbow pad potential that will not be able to be utilized right here because sadly the walls are not close enough towards the mercenary to jump and even if we do use the elbow pad right there, the chances of you getting hit during that moment is very high. Uh, there's going to be no tie turners here remaining from the survivor side, a little bit unfortunate, but at least Toy Merchant still does have an elbow pad on her here as well, which is fairly nice. Entomologist, item-wise, there's really only around 15% of her bees remaining in this sense as well, so 
gonna be a little hard here for entomologists to be able to do much which is a little bit unfortunate with those bees in mind I feel like one spit is enough to get those bees out of the way yeah one spit is really able to get the yeah oh my lord I'm a genius I'm joking um even with that in mind okay Eli you're coming to rescue right now we probably do want a little bit more spits but i guess we don't have double spit here which is a little bit unfortunate definitely could chase after mercenary here once again mercy elbow padding here brilliant thankfully happy lots didn't decide to do a normal hit but we're going to be able to get a spit down right there immediately not wasting any extra seconds there on towards or basic hits but even with that on mind, mercenary coming to rescue is a little bit dangerous, don't we think so as well? We're gonna be looking towards the cypher machine right now to see which ones has been decoded, but I feel like we'll be able to find Toy Merchant's location anyways, but I guess it's a little bit of a gamble here from both sides. Really, Toy Merchant catapult down immediately, we're gonna be able to go on towards that catapult. We do hear the catapult if I'm not wrong, alongside with tonight is here being able to pop out here as well. But um, that's going to be a brilliant spit down. Uh, we want to body block as much as we can. Okay, very nicely done by Happy. No terror shock here there, brilliantly done by Shushu. But uh, even with that in mind, we're going to be able to get a spit down there immediately. Eli with nothing remaining on the hands running from the entomologist side. Sally will be a double down situation in which there's really nothing we can do. And of course, with teleport being ready there as well. And cocoon being ready, by the way. We probably could just cocoon here and immediately TP. But we do see as well Manello running in straight towards the basement there we're gonna be going for a little bit of a basement gaming looking for a chest there inside basement but if the tp really does come out that's gonna be a no my goose stat there from avg survivor side but of course if we are gonna be able to get a needle here it would be better if we do get a needle here we got another elbow pad okay that's not bad so mercy with five elbow pads this game including the one that toy merchants has we do have tinnitus here thankfully but even with tonight is here, it's going to be a little bit difficult even for Mercy to get out of this area. That one level pad is probably going to be used to get out of basement. But um, for Mercenary side here as well, he is standing in the lockers trying to see if the hunter is coming closer or not. But um, I feel like Mercy probably could have just... No, Mercy can't really get out of basement, honestly. Because he doesn't know where the hunter's location is, which is the biggest issue, I feel. Um, in this situation, we're still trying to look for Tinnitus, but it seems like Tinnitus is here. So for Happy side, he probably does realize, okay, it's probably basement. So we're going, going to basement! Ah, basement, Merc! Oh. Excuse me, a little bit unfortunate there, but Mercy will be going down here. Meanwhile, Toy Merchant using up that self heal. We do still have teleport ready to go as well. So going out, look for Toy Merchant right here. I, I, we will just speed things up here a little bit because um, yeah, Toy Merchant goes down and it's in a nutshell a four man elimination. So let's congratulate four man here coming from Happy Loss. Uh, moving on towards game three. 